Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my makeup palette collection. Um, this was a requested video and I thought it was such a great idea. So I decided to film it and show you guys the whole shebang, all the palettes that I have. I have a ton. I didn't realize how many I have. Um, I'm not really going to be showing like quads, like you know the little quads that you get at like Walmart, like the Maybelline ones just because we would be here forever but let me show you guys something i chopped off my hair it's short it's gone i chopped off my hair because if you remember when i did the ombre um my hair is fried pretty much my hair is just it was falling off it was very dry and no matter what i did to nourish it with olive oil um, coconut oil treatments and everything it was just the ends were dead but that's a different video so today i'm going to go ahead and show you like i said all the palettes that i own and i'm going to try and tell you as well my top five or my top ten favorites eyeshadow palettes and yeah so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I am just going to start at random and just as an FYI, I do have tons of BH Cosmetic palettes because I love BH Cosmetics. They're super affordable and the quality and most all the palettes are pretty amazing. So the first one that I have here, this is the That's Hearts palette, again by BH Cosmetics. They partnered up um, with, I don't know her name, I know that she has a channel here on YouTube and that's like her username, that's hearts or something like that. I really don't know the whole 411, but I know that, like I said, she col she collaborated with them and she came out with her own palettes. This palette, it's really pretty, I just, I don't use it as often. This is what it looks like, it has really pretty bright colors and then it has a really pretty contour color. Um, but it does have a little bit of those orange undertones, so I don't use it as often. Um, not my favorites, but I do like the quality of uh, the palette itself. The next one that I have here is uh, the Balm Shady Lady. And I actually got this when my local Kohl's used to sell it. And this one has absolutely gorgeous colors. It has really pretty colors, but I don't know why I don't use it as often. It has mostly shimmer colors, and some of these have a little bit of glitter in them. They're really nice, they're really pigmented, and like I said, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, it's not one of my favorites, just I think it's because I forget that I have it. I don't use it, but it's a pretty palette. Next is another BH Cosmetics palette. I actually used to use this palette a lot when I first got it. And this is uh, the California Makeup Palette. And this is really cute packaging. You open it like this and then here you get really bright eyeshadows. As you can see, you have tons of blues, greens, turquoise, turqu turquoise colors as well as yellow colors. And then in, blah, 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 and then in the middle, oh my gosh. You have um, you have a blush, you have a highlight, a bronzer, which is not really a bronzer for me at least because I'm darker skinned. And then this one is kind of like a, I don't know, oh, did I, yeah, this is a blush actually. And then this is a highlight. Um, again, this was my favorite palette back when it first launched, which was, I don't know how long ago. But I love this palette. I don't use it anymore, but if you are maybe looking into something that's going to give you a variety of colors, then this is a really cute one and it's very nice and small, so definitely travel friendly. Next up is my Coso Sense Revealed 2 palette. I know you guys have been asking for a makeup tutorial with this and I will have one soon. Um, I just need to, oh my god, my hair is driving me crazy. I just need to figure out what kind of look I want to um, do if I want to do like a nice mauve look or what. But this is definitely one of my favorite palettes even though I don't use it on a daily basis. But I do use it quite often just because it has an array of shimmers and mattes and purples and blacks and browns. So it's a really nice palette to use almost on an everyday base. But I definitely love this. Coastal Sense has amazing eyeshadows. So again, that was the Revealed 2 palettes. 
I also own both of the Lorac uh, Pro palettes, the first one and the second one. Um, I do like them, but again, I don't use them as often. I have used this one in one of my uh, makeup tutorials where I did like a blue smoky eye and they're nice. Um, the quality in them is pretty amazing. I think if you're wanting, again, something that has an array of like neutral colors, this one's a really nice palette. I just, I don't use it as often as I wish I would because these are pricey. Um, and honestly, they're just, they're not my favorite palettes. Next are these two by L'Oreal. This is uh, La Palette's Nude 1 and Nude 2. These are definitely up there in my favorite palettes. I do have a full review on these, so I'm not, or actually on one of these because I didn't own the second one at that time. Um, but I have pretty much uh, the same opinion on this one as on this one. Let me just tell you, these palettes are amazing for them being drugstore, and I highly recommend them. I will have that video listed down below if you guys are interested in checking um, my review on this. And then some other palettes that you guys have seen in my um, channel already are these NYX Avant Pop eyeshadows. Um, these, I did a whole review on Waste or Worth a Wednesday, and I absolutely love these. These are also some of my favorite palettes. Again, just because, first of all, the size of the product itself, you get quite a lot of products for the price, and the colors are just so vibrant, and they're really nice and pigmented, and there's just so many different fun colors to choose from, or you can just go with a little bit more of a nude palettes like these but you know me that i love my bright colors so i love these and i highly recommend them even if you get just one i think you are just going to enjoy it because it's such a good palette all right so next are these la girl um the beauty bricks and i do own all four of them this is the nudes neon smoky and ultra which has more like purple colors i also have a full review with swatches on these babies i love them these are really good quality as well and they're very very affordable i believe they range from seven to nine dollars my favorite one is this one and this one as well because you get tons of fun bright colors if you are not shy to wear bright colors i think you'll really enjoy this palette um I wouldn't say exactly that they're my favorites, but I do like them. Again, the quality is pretty pretty amazing, and for the price, I mean, you can't go wrong. Next up is the ever-so-famous Naked 3 palettes. Weirdly enough, I don't own any other um, Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. I don't know why. Tell me if I should because, not that I need more palettes, but, you know, I've been wanting some. So this is what it looks like, and it is so pretty. I have used this a handful of times, not many times, but I do like it. It's very girly and it's very, I don't know how to explain it. It's not really me, as you can tell. I like bright colors and this, I mean, you can play it up and, you know, um, make a really nice bright makeup look, but it's, meh, it's okay. I, I like it, but I don't love it. And then here I have my Z palettes. My Z palette contains some Makeup Geek eyeshadows as well as some Coastal Scents eyeshadows, which most of them now are Coastal Scents, which I actually need to get another Z palette because I have four eyeshadows just like hanging in there. Um, I need to get a new one because I need more eyeshadows, right? I definitely love my C palettes. It's very convenient and I have all the colors that I tend to use the most. Out of all the palettes that I own, I think my Z palette is the one that I use the most. I love it. Um, I do show some of these in another Coastal Sense review that I have, so check that out. Alright, next up is the crazy most sold out palette that I've ever known. This is the Morphe palette. Uh, brushes palette and this is the Jaclyn Hills favorite palette. So if you guys remember last year when she collaborated with Morphe brushes, everybody went crazy over this palette. I wanted to get it because I trust her as a makeup artist and I think her makeup skills are on points all the time. And I liked just the, the colors, the variation. So 
I love this palette. This is probably one of my favorites, like favorites, favorites, besides my Z palettes. I love this because I get tons of browns, neutrals, but I do have some bright colors here and there, which I love. I love this palette. I don't know if they are still sold out, um, but if you have it, you understand the love for this. Next up is another BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Galaxy Chic palette. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this palette is really pretty. I don't know why I don't use it as often. As you can see, you have tons of brights. Now these are like baked eyeshadows, so you can use them either wet or dry. Either way, you're going to get amazing pigmentation out of these. My favorite color is this one right here, which is Aphrodite's. It's a gorgeous, um, like a red-toned maroon color. It's really, really pretty. I don't think I've ever used this in my channel. I don't remember. But it's it's a really good palette. I don't use it as often, like I said. But I do like it. It's, it's a good palette. Okay, I think the rest of these, for most of the part, are going to be BH Cosmetics. This is the BH Party Girl, and this was limited edition, I guess. I honestly don't know if maybe they still even have it, but I used to love this palette. The The little eyeshadows are really small. They're like dime size, but as you can see, you get an array of colors, and this is supposed to be exactly like a party girl, you know, where you go from dark colors to really bright colors. It's a really fun palette, and the pigmentation on these are really, really good. I like it, and again, I don't use it. Look at that yellow. I don't use it as often anymore just because I have so many, but it is a good palette, and I just stained it. Another BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Dark Rose. I also did a review on this when I first got it. I was just so excited about this palette, and I think this is one of my favorite BH Cosmetics palettes just because I own so many. This one is one of my favorites. It did come with an eyeliner, which I have in my drawers. And I really do like it. I don't use it as often because my NYC is like my holy grail eyeliner. But as you can see, the eyeshadows are a little bit bigger than their other eyeshadows. And they're so pretty. I just think they did a really good job at choosing the colors and how they combine them together. I believe I have two makeup looks using this palette right here. I will try to find them and remember and leave them linked down below. Definitely good palettes and again with BH Cosmetics you can't go wrong because the prices are just so freaking affordable. I just want to get this one out of the way because it's the biggest one. This one is, oh, it's, it's such an amazing, great quality, huge thing that I love. This is the Shani or Shani Cosmetics, um, what's it called? The Masterpiece 7 Layers All-in-One Makeup Set. And it's all-in-one beauty. Um, you get some eyeshadows, you get concealers, you get blushes, and that's about it. Yeah, oh, and you get some lip glosses. I have shown this in my channel before, so great, great item to invest in. I will have the link to this down below if you guys are interested in picking this up. We're almost done. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. First of all, oh, I don't even know. This palette is just beyond amazing. I actually used a little bit of this today on my crease just to give it a little bit more depth to my eyes. I love this palette. I love it. It is, again, one of my, it's up there on my top favorites, definitely. It's a really good palette, and it just has, you know, every girl's dream. Very nice neutral colors, super creamy, super buttery. If you have this palette, you know what I'm talking about. And then another palette that I have here is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Lavish palette. Again, this is one of my favorites, especially the color Sienna. I'm about to hit pan on this and I know that she has those single eyeshadows. That eyeshadow right there is my absolute favorite. It's just like that perfect brown red color and I just love, love, love this palette. It's so pretty. It's just, it's pretty. I love it and I do actually use this pretty often. I use it more off camera just because when I film I like to switch up, you know, the palettes that I use but nonetheless it's 
a nice palette. I don't know if it was limited edition or not, but if you don't have this, I think it's a good palette to add to your makeup collection, you know? All right, so I have a couple more, and again, these are all beach cosmetics. This one right here, I actually haven't touched this palette in years. And this is the Jenny Rivera eyeshadow palette, which if you guys are Latinos or Latinas, um, or I don't know, you know, maybe you can know who she is. Jenny Rivera is or was a very famous Mexican singer. Unfortunately, she passed away, I believe it was two years ago. I honestly don't follow her so much, so I don't know how long it's been. But I just thought it was so freaking cool that she partnered up with BH Cosmetics and created this palette. Um, as you can see, this has barely any usage. What I did use it a lot was for the blushes, but this, now that I see it, I'm like, man, this has so many pretty colors. So, I don't know, I might have to bust this baby out and use it in a makeup tutorial. I don't know if BH Cosmetics carries this specific palette anymore. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice uh, palette. And it's, I mean, especially if you were like a fan of Jenny Rivera, this could have some sentimental value to you. So, yeah. And this is the BH Day and Night palette. So as you can see, I used to love, I mean, I still love BH Cosmetics, but I don't purchase as many eyeshadows from them anymore because I feel like I have them all. But this one's a really nice, again, tr transitional palette to go from night to day. As you can see, this one has a lot more darker colors. And then this one has a lot more brighter colors. Even though it has some really nice bright colors, they have more of that like darkness to them. Really good palettes. Um, not my favorite, not gonna lie. But if you want something again that gives you an array of colors, then this is a good one. This one was actually one of my favorite palettes when I got it from BH Cosmetics. This is a special occasion palette. And this one as well contains uh, blushes, which is another thing that I love about BH Cosmetics is that they include blushes and in most other products. This one has so many pretty colors. I'm going to blind you. This one has so many pretty colors. All of these are gorgeous and the little um, blushes are really nice. I wish I can just pop all these out and turn them into a Z palette because their blushes are so amazing. But yeah, this one has tons of pretty colors and I love it. I don't use it as much, but I love it. My last palette is the Take Me to Brasi palette. This one is my fave it's my favorite as far as like bright colors in a palette just because all of these are bright and i have done a couple of tutorials using this and this is the palette that i tend to gravitate towards when i'm doing a bright makeup look and if i don't find a certain color then i always reach for this because it is so pretty i actually think i have a tutorial coming up using this red right here so yeah, I love it and I think if you like bright colors like me and you're not afraid to use maybe even a pop of color, this one's a really good palette as well. Alright guys, so that is everything. That is my whole um, palettes collection. I hope this video isn't too long. Um, so yeah, I think that is everything that I need to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to that button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!